the MSG is looked up as the premier resource available type of uh, group in the world and it needs to stay at that group. It has the ability to um, do clinical trials, it has the ability to help with definitions of fungal infections, it has the ability to look at uh, diagnostics, it has the ability to do advocacy, it has the ability to bring people together at all groups. And when you think of all groups, you think of uh, at least three basic groups. The first is the basic scientist. And, uh, uh, I am a basic scientist. I do basic uh, stuff at the uh, at laboratory benches. And even though, as Pete mentioned, the MSG may not have a large number of uh, basic scientists, they do have basic scientists. And in fact, the basic scientists need the MSG to come to some grip on exactly what they should be doing and the directions they should go on. The second group that you think about is translational and that's taking it from the laboratory into the clinics. And here again, the MSG has grown into that thing from diagnostics to uh, development of definitions to the ability to um, go to clinical trials, to the ability to bring people together, advise people that are doing translational work, such as the pharmaceutical companies. So it has grown into a major factor in that. And then third, clinically, uh, the MSG from its studies, the studies over now 30 or 40 years, some of them are the foundation, the foundation of the clinical um, guidelines that we have today throughout the world. And it has a, a developed that with the interaction of the uh, individuals that this particular group have put together for many, many years.